Hi everyone, welcome to Do Daily Monday Motivation. It's Daz here, looking to attack the week. Be really positive about what lies ahead, make the most of the things we do, and hopefully inspire myself and you guys looking in to have the absolutely best version we can. As ever, on a Monday, I look to get out and about. You can see today, I'm in the usual location, the place I love, home, down by the River Trent, the place where I'm getting most of my activity. And of course, I always like to never miss a Monday. One or two injuries are stopping me running. I spoke about that a lot recently. Probably been a cause of frustration. Probably not really helped in an indifferent couple of weeks. But I'm out and about walking. Shorts and t-shirt weather, sun's out, blue skies, plenty of greenery, you know, nature. It's always good for the mental health. And whilst last week was mental health awareness week and put a little bit of focus on that, do daily kind of touches on it every day. That's what the channel's all about. I'm trying to encourage that positivity and enthusiasm to stay on top of things and do what absolutely whatever we can so hopefully you take something from it before going any further if you enjoy the fact i'm trying to help in this way and support and encourage others or you just want to get behind the channel please give this episode a thumbs up please do subscribe if you're new i can assure you over time you probably understand a little bit more what what i am actually trying to do it's just a daily check in my own personal vlog my experiences my ups and downs you know i'm trying to put some perspective on them when it is good you know i like to come on and show that just normal people who do normal things normal jobs normal lives um can get through and really be excited about the non-materialistic things and when it's not particularly good i just try and find a way to deal with it as quickly as i possibly can to move forward and start putting things right I understand that it's not always straightforward. There's always that mishap or that little bit of something to upset us just around the corner. So again, being sort of aware of that fact, being conscious that that might happen, it just helps me make the most of the real good things that happen. And as I already spoke about where I'm, where I'm at and how much I enjoy this place, you know, down by the river, it's home, it's, it's what I get to make the most of. But it's that most of all this weekend that's really this location, the things I've done here and the people I've spent my time with within the, the parameters of where I live, you know, that's really put me in a good mood. Of course, anybody who watches this channel will know I'm a massive Forest fan. You can just about see there uh, the world famous city ground. And that's been brilliant this weekend, of course. Forest have struggled all season. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, just like life. It's a perfect metaphor. It's the only reason I'm really mentioning it. It's a perfect metaphor. Forest season has been up and down. It looked like it was going to be down for most of it, a relegation, but they've come through it. They've battled against adversity and managed to ensure Premier League survival. And whilst at times it's been stressful, it's been a hard watch, it causes angst and anxiety itself you know it feels like it's all worth it the manager the legend that is steve cooper spoke about that a lot over the weekend you know and how he's felt that he's really been tested and sometimes when we tested in life you know we 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 prove to ourselves just how much we can get on top of it and how we can be a lot stronger for it and again after missing out on my running in the last few weeks it's been frustrating you know it's probably got to me a bit more than I realised at times, especially now I'm feeling much better. You know, some of that's kind of coming out of how it has got to me. I'm just proving to myself that even without that, you know, and it's something I always say I rely on massively. It's my drug. If I'm really, really struggling, the best thing I can do is chuck my trainers on and get for a run because it always helps and I firmly believe that. But if I can start feeling much better and happier and more content and really positive about the other things you know without it you know I'm doing all right when it comes back in again when I can get out for a run on a Monday never miss a Monday you know in terms of running 
trying to do it, do, do some sort of activity today. Doing a couple of loops of the river. Actually been coaching some guys who, who do some boot camp type running with me, you know, and that's all inspirational stuff. But when I can sort of put that back in, you know, and it adds to this sort of enthusiasm and happiness from, from whatever I've done to get me back to this place, you know, it'll be so, so much better again. You know, it'll just take it to another level almost. And I think that's what we're always striving for, isn't it? Is a, is a place where we're just feeling great. I mentioned already, we can't always feel like that. We can't always feel fantastic. If we did, you know, life would be mundane, it would be boring. And again, that's more sort of acceptance on my part in the fact that, you know, we have to experience the difficulties. We have to experience some of the lows, you know. They're not great when they happen, but everybody deals with them with them a little bit differently. And even myself, you know, even though I'm sort of putting this perspective on it and giving some reasons of how I deal with it and how I can sort of deal with it better when the good stuff happens again, you know, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy and there's, <laughs> there's levels to that, you know, it's all relative to our own personal situation and sometimes things are beyond the control. So all I'm trying to do here is do, work with the things that we can control. You know, for me, it's doing my YouTube channel, processing my thoughts, getting out, doing this activity, walking around this stunning location, you know, and trying to pay it forward because when we're looking after ourselves, when we're in a good place, the best thing to do, just to make ourselves feel that little bit better, is to try and help and support others. Do little little things that improve somebody else's life just in the slightest way. It's not to give yourself a big pat on the back, although you can do that if you do it. It's just to sort of keep feeling like we're making a difference. And we all need that. We don't just want to be a number in the grand scheme of things. We all want to make a difference. We all want to feel fantastic about ourselves and feel like how our own lives impact others. You know, when we're not feeling fantastic, we tend to hide away a little bit, you know, take shelter and, and sort of bed down. <laughs> it's the last thing any of us need really, isn't it? I always talk about the importance of communication and, and how we really, really need to sort of stay, stay together, stay in tune with, it, with what each other's feeling. It was a big episode last week at the start of Mental Health Week where I, I've put some extra focus on how we can think about other situation, even when we might be riding a, a, a wave of enthusiasm and excitement and, and winning at life. You know, but we have to think of the others when, when they're not quite winning, do you know? I won't say losing, because that's the, absolutely the wrong word. It, it happens, it's what I'm saying here. Um, life happens sometimes and we just have to deal with it. But if we can sort of tot up all our small wins, you know, on Saturday, I woke up in a fantastic frame of mind. I, I'd offered to volunteer at Park One, you know, and lots of people just sort of saying hello and saying, come on, you Reds, because they knew me and they knew the big game coming up. And straight away, I was I was in the right place. Of course, Forrest and the result, mine have made a massive difference in the, uh, for other, in the opposite direction, but it didn't, you know, felt like I set off the day right. You know, met up with people, enjoyed the game. You know, did lots of things around making people, uh, meeting people, saying hello. You know, and again, it's that communication, isn't it? It's that uh, importance we put on relationships and and building them. And and by doing all that before the game, the result. I wouldn't say the result happened because of that, because it didn't. But plenty of positive energy, plenty of positive vibes. You know, the city ground, the atmosphere was amazing. And everyone talks about how big the crowd has been. You know, but it's all that positive energy, isn't it? If it was down and gum, and I'm not saying <laughs> crowds win football matches, because they absolutely don't, but they can help and they can put the players on the pitch in a, in a more determined and spirited and better frame of mind. And this is what it's all about, isn't it? All these little small positive wins throughout the weekend, throughout, throughout Saturday, you know, had a good night on Saturday, a few drinks, woke up feeling a little bit rough around the edges. But again, even though I can't run straight over to the running club, encouraging the guys to do that, we had a social, 
and again just spent lots of time relaxed a little bit the cricket yesterday really enjoyed that and then just one or two people had another drink or two so don't want to encourage too much drinking of course i don't but again i was uh, it, it gives us a great social opportunity sometimes probably um look back now, well not probably i look back now and think that was just brilliant that was my kind of weekend that's what what the weekend i want at the end of every week do you know when it's not been perfect and the weekend i want to start another week you know with all the enthusiasm i need and it's exactly where i am so hopefully if you understand all that do you know if you can look at where your wins came you know, nothing none of that is uh, the only thing I couldn't control is the football um, but again I spoke about how we played a part none of that is beyond our control to do some of the little things I'm not saying I've done anything extra extra special extra special to me but it doesn't mean other people can't find ways to get the most from what they do do you know and like I say if you're not feeling it right now or if you want to have a fantastic week just look for those small wins from the weekend realize that they happened and want to take them forward and that's what it's about on a monday isn't it it's about really really taking it forward i'm not gonna moan about the running hopefully i'm not gonna mention it too much it will come in because it is such a big thing in my life but my little target this week I always start the week with a few targets just little things in my head again because if i achieve them they give me the win but what they also do, if I don't achieve them, it's a great measurement of where I'm at, uh, where my determination, where my focus, and where my energy is. So just one or two ideas here to think, give me a food for thought on how you can take it forward, how you can possibly get the most from yours. Like I say, look back over what happened at the weekend, where the winds came, perhaps set one or two targets, you know, but most of all, just decide for yourself you're gonna have a good one once you start thinking along those lines and nobody's gonna put you off nobody's gonna detract from what you want to do or um or what you enjoy then i can assure you you'll definitely have a good one and that's all any of us really want isn't it i say it all the time we want to get to the end of the week we want to think yes that was absolutely fantastic and then follow it up with another fantastic weekend, another fantastic week, and maintain a smile and contentment. And then we're all winning at life. Until Tuesday training, again, it'll be slightly varied because of where I'm at. Can't mention that, as I've already said. Just doing it.